first job we're gonna be working on is the walls. We wanna get these in today, maybe? Whoa! You ready to go? Hi guys, we are Nick and Sam and this right here is Lord Onyx. We have been living and travelling in self-built camper vans since 2018 and between us we have converted four vans. For the past few series we have been vlogging our van life adventures which has taken us through Spain, Portugal, Scotland, Norway and Germany. But if you know anything about van life, a build is always calling. So this time around, Terra will be resting her wheels whilst we take on the challenge of building van number five. <laughs> Welcome back guys. Today we are kicking off with our first vlog of 2023. We hope you've had a good one. Absolutely, but that's enough about that because that was like totally <laughs> a month ago now. Let's get our <laughs> together and go to the van build. Yeah, let's go. So we've kind of been using the van as a bit of a storage for all the supplies so we need to sort that out. We did explore the idea of getting a workshop but that failed so we've conjured up another plan instead. We've only gone and got ourselves some storage. And I'm not actually sure if you can see me, I'm all camouflaged. <laughs> He's matching this storage. We decided to sort ourselves out some storage because it was just getting a little bit too tight to work in the van. You know, you're doing loads of work in a two by three by two high space. So having an extra one by one by one meter storage unit will hopefully make heaps of difference. Right, that's the storage full. And just like that, we're going to be filling the van back up with all this timber. Wix had 15% off, so it was cheeky not to grab it all. Okay, so it's day one, back at the van build, after we had the festive season off. I sense it's going to be a bit of a slow one because we've got to get back into the swing of things. But the first job we're going to be working on is the walls. So we want to get these in today, maybe? <laughs> So what we're using for the wall is 12 mil ply. This is where the sofa bed is gonna be. So people are gonna be leaning back. So I want it to be quite sturdy rather than like flopping around. The rest of the ply in the van, which we've kept is about five mil thick. Um, and what we're also doing here with this wall is extending the ply or the stencil. So it overlaps this bit of the kitchen wall to hide the curve and then it'll be a nice flush line. While Sam is cutting that part of the wall, I've locked myself away inside the van because it's chucking it down out there. You can probably hear it. And what I'm gonna be doing is sanding down the walls again. <laughs> You ready to go? <laughs> I'm gonna go this side or that side. Ooh. Oh wow, that is just nice. That's a clean cut. <laughs> so it fits really good in terms of the height. We just need to do, make a few extra trims on the width to make it nice and snug. Yeah, like as you can see, these two pieces don't meet up very nicely, but fortunately, we do have a little bit of excess over here to play with. To make this fit nice and snug, there's a magic thing called scribing. Guys, don't worry, I'm a little bit of a professional. <laughs> what you need to do is get yourself a pencil and then you need to bridge this gap here. So fortunately, this 12 mil piece of ply that we cut off is wide enough. So what you need to do is get your pencil, like flush against whatever you're using to bridge the gap and then literally run it up against the wall and it'll find your line that you need to cut to make it nice and snug. Whoa! Wow. That is... Bang on, eh? That is good. Look at that, eh? Look at that! Look at this bit here. <laughs> so whatever magic thing you did, it works. He's a good little professional, isn't he? I have a little bit of a dilemma, which is up here, which we knew we were gonna run into. Don't think you can see, guys, but obviously there's a, like a beam, a steel beam behind here, and it, it intrudes a little bit, so it doesn't sit too flush to the kitchen wall. But we'll sort that, won't we? Oh yeah, definitely. You look so miserable. <laughs> I was thinking. You're like a zombie. I was thinking if we can make a cut like that, we can definitely make this work. <laughs> we can do it. 
and it's just starting to rain. That is one annoying thing about building in the UK. The weather is just unpredictable, but that is the realities of a van build when you don't have a workshop. If you noticed earlier, we were literally in and out of the garage with the plywood, because every time it rained, we'd shuffle back, and every time it stopped, we came back out. Um, and that's why we started looking for a workshop, so we can just speed things up. But anyway, we're gonna call it a night tonight. It's half four, sun has set, it is dark, and we'll pick it back up tomorrow. Don't know what we're gonna be doing, but we'll figure that out tonight. <laughs> we finished out cutting the piece of the wall yesterday, but there's this bulgy piece of metal in the van. As you can see, it comes out a little bit further than the rest, which was stopping the panel sitting flush. So I practiced this cut yesterday. Look how funky Yay. that is. So we're gonna replicate this on the wall and get it put up. Today! Today, definitely. <laughs> and what do you rate Sam's dungarees out of 10, guys? I think they're actually really cool. Give us honest. a little dance. <laughs> Quickly tell you how we got our stencil. We used cardboard because it's nice and flexible, push it up against the bulge in the van and then literally just sketch around it. To make the cuts we're going to be using a circular saw. We can change the depth of the blade to make sure that it doesn't go all the way through the ply. And then once we've got the depth set we're going to do some straight cuts all the way to the end of our stencil and then use a chisel to cut it all out. I actually just realised that this end of the wall sits within the groove of the van and then as you come to about over here it starts to overlap the metal so we're going to mark off where it starts to overlap, trim it down and then hopefully it should all fit nice and flush. Oh, oh my oh, life! Is it? Does it fit? Look at that! Hey. So there is like a little bit of a gap here, but there's a reason for that, isn't there, Sam? Yes, there's no buttons behind there because you are still sorting out the windows. <laughs> therefore, we're not even sure if we're going to keep the end of this anyway. Yeah, we don't know how far we're trimming it back because we don't know where the window's going to go. We yep. don't know how far the button's going to push it up and um, push it out and stuff like that steps are to tack these into situation and I know we've just been tacking up all the walls but it's my fault because I haven't sorted the windows and until they arrive we can't like fix everything into position properly. Guys look what we have a complete wall Look at that! Next up is this wall. So with this, we've repurposed the wood that already came in the van. Um, we've sanded it down entirely because there was carpet and glue all stuck to it. It's not perfect, but it is going to be behind the scenes. But what we haven't done yet is the batten in behind it. So we're going to pull it out, get the battens in and put it in properly. Are you ready to rumble? I am ready to rumble. I mm -hmm. am. Should we take a break? Yeah, let's take a break. <laughs> what we're doing here is making the batten for this wall. It's gonna run along the middle. And the reason we're doing that is because we're having a bathroom on that side. So we don't want this wall to be flexible. So just having another batten in the background will make it really sturdy. wood wasn't sitting flush against the metal not just because of the wall but there's actually like a little beam here you probably won't be able to see it because it's behind the foil and the wall so what we're doing is cutting out little notches where the beams sit and we're doing that by using the mitre feature on this chop saw aren't we we are <laughs> The batten is in and what we've done is added in these little blocks behind it to stop the batten from bending so we've got one like every 20 centimetres. We've also added this batten down here. Now let's get this wall up.
The walls are now complete. We're going to replace the battens on the roof because it's too thin to have a screw go through it as well. So we're going to replace it with this wood. <laughs> and that was off screen. We tried to make it look like a magic trick. And that is our last job of today. So we'll catch you next week where we'll be starting the bulkhead.